Open that. What is the last judgment? Christ's second coming gives the Son of God this gift. To hear the voice of God proclaim that what is false is false and what is true has never changed. And this the judgment is in which perception ends. People close that. At first you see a world that has accepted this is true, projected from a now corrected mind. And with this holy sight, perception gives a silent blessing and then disappears. Its goal accomplished and its mission done. The final judgment on the world contains no condemnation for it sees the world is totally forgiven without sin and holy purposes. Without a cause and now without a function in Christ's sight, it merely slips away to nothingness. There it was born and there it ends as well. And all the figures in the dream in which the world began go with it. Bodies now are useless and will therefore fade away because the son of God is limitless. You who believed that, that God's last judgment would condemn the world to hell along with you, accept this holy truth. God's judgment is the gift of the correction he bestowed on all your errors, freeing you from them and all effects they ever seem to have. To fear God's saving grace is but to fear complete release from suffering, return to peace, security and happiness, and the union with your own identity. God's final judgment is as merciful as every step in his appointed plan to bless his son and call him to return to the eternal peace he shares with him. Be not afraid of love, for it alone can heal all sorrow, wipe away all tears, and gently waken from his dream of pain, the son whom God acknowledges as his. Be not afraid of this. Salvation asks, you give it welcome, and the world awaits your glad acceptance which will set it free. This is God's final judgment. You are still my holy son, forever innocent, forever loving, forever loved, and as limitless as your creator, and completely changeless and forever pure. Therefore, awaken and return to me. I am my father, and you are my son. Gorgeous. Lesson 311 says, I judge all things as I would have them be. Judgment was made to be a weapon used against the truth. It separates what is being used against and sets it off as if it were a thing apart. And then it makes of it what you would have it be. It judges what it cannot understand because it cannot see totality and therefore judges falsely. Let us not use it today, but make a gift of it to him who has a different use for it. He will relieve us of the agony of all the judgments that we have made against ourselves and reestablish peace of mind by giving us God's judgment of his son. Father, we wait with open mind today to hear your judgment of the son you love. We do not know him and we cannot judge him. And so we let your love decide what he whom you created as your son must be. So beautiful. I judge all things as I would have them be. Okay, let's bring forth our beloved Magdalene. Good morning, York. Good morning, Lorianne. So Magdalene has only words she has for us, for us today.
Greetings, beloveds. Mm. Beloveds, as we have spoken, we have said that judgment is a mechanism of the egoic mind that allows separation to occur. You will take the projection of a person, the projection of a circumstance, and you will add judgment. And this causes a break in the circuitry where love would flow normally, where love would flow naturally, because there must be a separation. One being is not seen as being connected to another. One being is not known as being loved by another. Separation that is known, there is segregation. And from there is pain and fear. The belief that something is wrong, the belief that something should be some way other than the way that it is. Rather than allowing oneself to love with a complete and open heart, Fear exists where there is judgment, beloveds. And in order for the fear to be released, in order for the separation to be healed, one must come to truth. And the truth lives outside of this realm of judgment. The truth lives within the kingdom. To make the journey to the kingdom, beloveds, you need only be willing to give up all of the righteousness, the feeling that you know what anything is for, why anything is, and you must be willing to surrender, beloveds, to the truth that is true always, that we have stated countless times that only love is real. For the creator loves all that has been created, mother, father, God, complex source creation has created beingness that is love and love only. And when you allow yourselves to remember that truly only love is real, you will forgive, you will heal, you will come together in union. You will not allow judgments or fears to disturb you. You will not allow them to be used as weapons against yourself or anyone else. You will come to see that all are one. And if you can recognize that each being that has presented themselves before you, beloveds, is indeed an aspect of your own consciousness, you can easily forgive, forgive your fears, forgive their fears, forgive their anger, forgive their confusion. As you make the way clear, as you clear the path for your own conscious contact with source, and you allow yourself to rise above the din and the chaos and the confusion of an egoic mind that says you must go in seven directions at once. And you can lay your course and lay your path to do one thing and one thing only. And that is to remain in conscious contact with this God complex. You will find that the waters will calm and they will still, and you will do one thing, which is to ride and rest upon the wave of love that surrounds you, that envelops you, and that comforts you. In this comfort, beloveds, allow yourself to know truth. Truth is that you are creation of the divine, You are exactly where you are meant to be. And everything that unfolds within your path, beloved, has been decided and determined by you to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to lead you back to the kingdom, lead you back to source itself. For you have been on a vacation. You have been within a dreamland. And by allowing yourself to lay down any judgments, by allowing yourself to see only the truth, you will indeed be freed. Freed from the chaos, beloved ones. The chaos of thinking that you are anything less than perfect. The chaos of thinking that you are somehow separated from one another. 
Let love rule, let love prevail. You need only focus upon it, focus on union, focus on divinity, focus on holiness, and let everything work out in God's time. And in God's time, beloved, when that time comes for you, when you have made that choice, you will come to recognize that the rest is just the madness of a dream that you had decided to embrace. So allow the judgments to be released. Let you only judge yourself as a creation of divinity and of the beauty that you truly, truly are. Blessings to you, beloveds. I speak with you now and I will speak with you again. Greetings. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful day. See you again tomorrow. You're welcome.